We're going to be working in a large structure. I have some hex bolts in my structure. I'm going to use an X line to help me locate and place my bolts. Since we have multiple bolts, it's easier to define my bolt profile as a block and then insert the block into each location. The X line will ensure that my blocks remain along the same axis. It's not unusual for many users to work in really large layouts or structures like this one. In order to see any detail at all, we need to zoom in. I want to replace the existing bolt head geometry with a block to better organize my drawing. I go to the Insert ribbon. I select Create Block from the Block Definition panel. The Create Block tool will create a block that is local to this drawing. If I wanted a global block, that would create a file outside of this drawing, and I would use the Write Block tool. I am going to name the block Hex Bolt and Washer. I need to specify the base point, which is the insertion point for the block. This is a common error many users make. They forget to specify a base point. If you don't specify a base point, your block will automatically use a base point of 000, 000 by default. That means your block will be offset from the insertion point, making it very difficult to use. I select the pick icon and choose the center point of the polygon to define that as my base point. Next, I select the objects I want to be part of my block. I'm going to select the polygon and the outside circle and press Enter. I purposely left out the inside circle so you can see what happens when you accidentally forget an element for your block and need to add it later. Don't worry, we'll be fixing that error. You should see a small preview of your block on the Block Definition dialog box. The elements I selected are not on layer 0. This means when the block is placed, they will maintain the properties of the layer they are currently on. I have selected Convert to Block, which means the selected elements will automatically be converted to a block. Then I press OK. Now when I hover over the polygon, AutoCAD displays it as a block reference. I realize that my block is incorrect and I need to add in that missing circle. I also want to move some of those elements to the correct layer. I select the block, right click, and select Edit Block in Place. I want to enable the default, which allows me to select all nested objects. This means if I have a block inserted into a block, or dimensions or attributes, I would be allowed to select those as well. I press OK on the ribbon. I select Add to Working Set. Notice that anything that is not part of the block is grayed out. That helps you identify what's part of the block definition and what isn't. I select the inside circle to add it to the block. See how the circle is no longer grayed out? Because it's now part of the block definition. Next, I'm going to reassign the two circles, which represent the washer, to the hex head layer. I select the circles and select the layer from the drop down list. Then I right click and select Close. This saves the changes to my block. I press OK. Now when I hover over the block, the two circles in the polygon will highlight because they are part of that block. This is another advantage of using blocks. If you make a change to a block and you have several instances of that block in your drawing, they will automatically update once you save the changes. I want to copy and place this block along my structure. I want to ensure that the block stays aligned on the same axis.
because my structure is so long, an X line is a useful tool to ensure that my blocks are placed correctly and remain aligned. I'm going to switch to the construction layer. I'm going to select the X line tool from the extended lower part of the draw panel on the home ribbon. Notice in the flyout the X line is called construction line. The X line tool is useful because it doesn't have any end points. It goes to infinity in both directions. I select the X line tool. I right click and select HOR for horizontal to place a horizontal line. Then I select the center point of my hex bolt to place the X line. I right click to end the command. When I zoom out, you can see that my X line extends across the entire drawing. Remember, an X line is infinite in both directions. I'm going to zoom back into the area where I want to work. I'm going to switch to the hex bolt head layer. I select my hex bolt block. By combining all those elements into a block, it now has a single grip, the insertion point. I can copy or move the block using that single grip. I activate the center grip, right click, and select copy. Then I move down my structure to place my copies. I'm using the X line to ensure that my bolts remain aligned. When I get to this bolt, I immediately see an error. The X line shows me that the existing drawing had bolts placed out of alignment. To recap, I created a local block. I then modified the block by adding some elements and reassigning layers. I then placed an X line to help me locate additional bolts. I use the hot grip on the block to place multiple copies to different locations. The X line was useful because it ensured that any bolts I placed were located correctly in my structure.